connected educator. What do I mean by being connected? Well, I use Twitter, an online mobile social media application for my professional development needs. But wait a second, social media for professional development? I thought that Twitter was just for following Justin Bieber or maybe getting that cat video that went viral. No way. My ETEC565M analytical publishing project is going to be geared towards the use of this powerful mobile application for best practices in education. So what exactly is Twitter? Twitter is a microblogging social media platform in which educators can connect and share ideas in 140 characters or less. Twitter can be one of the most effective ways to get that just-in-time professional development that you've been searching for. At the baseline level, this can be as simple as sharing a link to a website resource. At the advanced level, users can follow common hashtags to participate in Twitter chats that focus on a topic or theme in education. Through analysis of reading, observation, and engagement on Twitter, I have determined that there are three major stages for Twitter for PD use. The first and probably most important stage is the lurker. This is the person who consumes content on Twitter, but does not add their voice to the conversation by actually tweeting. Lurkers use Twitter to gather ideas to improve their educational practices both in their classroom and at the school level. This is the most important stage of Twitter for PD because it is here where the user sees the power of the tool. The second stage of Twitter use is the participant. The participant is someone who actively tweets out ideas or engages in conversations with other educators about their ideas. The participant begins building relationships through the development of an online personal learning network or PLN. There's a popular quote out there that says that Twitter is what all teacher loungers should be like. A week on Twitter is like a year's worth of professional development. The third and most influential stage of Twitter use is the author. The author is someone who openly authors tweets, shares blog posts, and perhaps even writes their own blog. They direct other Twitter users to content that could be meaningful to their practice. When an author gets involved in a Twitter chat, they're often inspiring and encouraging other Twitter users to connect and innovate their teaching practices. Authors will post challenging questions that entice other educators to reflect upon their teaching practices. Because of our technologically advanced society, we're no longer limited to professionally engaging only in our local communities any longer. Friendships and professional relationships are no longer constrained to or determined by proximity to one another. Hashtags are really about creating conversations around common interests and online communities often form as a result. The best part of my professional Twitter experience is that it is mobile. You can access your personal learning network, your Twitter feed, or hashtags at any time in any place, thanks to phone data plans and connected wireless networks. So why should you use Twitter? And how should you use Twitter? Check out all of these tweets to see how other users are taking advantage of this amazing microblogging social media tool.